office supplies are classified as luxury items. So when the pandemic hit, there was some uncertainty about whether the business would survive. But in the midst of the global crisis, at least one office distribution company has sought out new opportunities. Here's Cody and Barrett with the Business Review. Plans for growth and expansion slowed down for stationery and office supplies when the pandemic hit in March last year. The company, which focuses primarily on supplying office tools and furniture, experienced a significant dip in sales, forcing it to make cutbacks. Deputy Managing Director Alan McDaniel explained that although plans are still in place for expansion, they now have to tread carefully due to finances. We had plans for some serious rapid growth plans and you know the whole retail side of 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 the economy has taken a huge downturn which is something we may have looked at gotten into the whole seek side of our business which is the back to school and the exercise books that took a, a huge hit so we really want to continue to grow and we want to continue to advance it's just we have to be very careful in these times but to stay afloat they had to pivot to new things on observing the new trend of working from home, they saw an opportunity to enter the home market. So what we were able and had to do is using our existing suppliers and maybe some a few new ones, we were able to get home furnishings in, things that were functional but didn't look office-y, um, and to be able for those persons to go home and still feel comfortable but have a place which they, they know that they could put their, their head down and get back to work because that's what all the companies were still expecting. And as more companies move to optimize protection for staff in office, stationery and office supplies pivoted to produce protective gear and equipment. One of the bigger things that we got into was acrylic screens. So for those who are still at work and, you know, you needed that boundary or that kind of safety, um, protective, I don't want to say glass because, you know, it's more of a hard plastic if you want. Um, we do those to order and we do those to design and to specifications. So it's not a stock item, but we got into manufacturing that. Although performance was slower in the pandemic, the company is now gradually moving back to pre-COVID levels and plans for expansion are underway. During the pandemic, we continue, we finished the building of our new warehouse, which was a 8,000 square foot warehouse on Collins Green. We purchased another property on Collins Green since then with and we're in the process of making plans of what we're going to do with it, whether it's be continued warehousing space or other ideas that we're you know, tossing around. But that would probably be started by the end of this year. And the company is still optimistic about the future. We have some new warehousing equipment coming in. So um, there, there are standard hand trucks and pallet jacks and things like that, but some electronic versions of them, which will be in probably by the end of this year, which is something we're very excited to get to do on that side. Cody Ann Barrett, TVJ News.